All right, because Shirley Bobshaw is here and she's going to show us how we can have this really mini garden makeover by creating a vertical wall. Hi, yes. Shirley. Hi, hey, guys. Don't be too shook up. I'm not. Don't. Don't. But I'm it's excited. Just keep things calm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so um, why, why did you pick this area, first of all? All right, well, this was one of those neglected areas. I bet you might have one of these at home, a spot in the garden that just looks ugly. We had a tall wall that was just empty. You can see here our before shot. Mm -hmm. There's even oh. some, you know, wires coming out, and it's needed some screening. We needed to create a focal point. Do you have much space in New York to grow any gardening stuff? No, we live all. in an do apartment. You? No. Do you have a balcony oh. in your apartment? No. Oh, no. oh but I'm wall? still going to teach you to do it on your wall. Do a closet. No. Do you have you know, the, the, is, the walls have Elvis paintings on, and we've determined. Of course that. they have. But okay. My, my mother have. in Connecticut has a view. My parents have a great house. Okay, so she's then. Doing this stuff. You're wait, wait. Be... Does Elvis have favorite plants? And what are? Oh, they? azaleas. Really? He was a southern boy. It oh. could have been camellias too. Look at that. But let me tell you, you're okay. going to get your mom excited because this is a really easy project. And mm. I don't even, I can't believe that I didn't think of it earlier because yeah. everybody loves vertical gardens and you mm. kind of have to go out and buy it or right. or you have to construct it. This is no construction. How well, how do you make the structure for the vertical okay. garden? I did this a little bit earlier. You can see it in the tape. Number one, I just, it's a store-bought trellis uh, in metal that we just staked in. And then the important thing is to find plants that fit through the grid. So these are four inch plants. These are the sweet potatoes. That one's Chihuahua. This one's Chipotle. And I just chose these beautiful trailing plants that actually just go right on into the grid. And so you have an instant coverage. You do not have to wait for plants to grow up the grid. They are 100% coverage. And I also like, Christine, if you can help me, of I course. like to add a little bit of accent color. So I have these beautiful caliber coas. So it just is that easy. Oh, how easy is that? How, how easy about is this? To keep? Now, how, how often do you have to water it? Well, and how it, much? Well, what's really important is that you select plants that are perennials, that are long lived, that are not fussy, like the sweet potato. Perennials and, meaning they, they won't come back again. Though. Well, yeah. if you're in a cold area, yeah. you may need to take them indoors. Oh, but I it's see. easy. All you have to do is pull it out. You always make it that I would have looked at that and went, oh, that's going to take yeah, forever right. because we got to build a back okay. thing. To, now this is important. What is that? This is a special watering wand that you just buy it at the store, about $10. That way you can just gently get in here and water. What you want to do is avoid wetting the, the wall because you don't want any you know type of fungus or anything yeah, growing. Oh, sure. And it's that simple. And as this fills in, you may find that you don't need all of these plants. You can just take one out and put it somewhere else. Could you put herbs in there? Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah, as long as you have, that. Yeah, yeah, if you have the right exposure, and but this is perfect for here. It looks so, beautiful. You can use any trellis design you want, right? You can use any trellis. Now, I like to choose metal because metal will wear a little bit better than wood, but certainly a wood trellis is something that is already designed to take water. And well, we have this trellis, but that's not real wool. Yeah. A, a, a wood. Yeah, that's like a poly. <laughs> wool. What but, do we have? Sheep? I what don't know. I want to show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're, you're so. But you're thinking, right? You're thinking of yes. options. Okay, look at this. Back with you. You? <laughs> what if you had a little grid like this? It's really cute. This is like eight dollars, and but the holes are too big, right? Because yeah. right. it's going to fit. All you do is take a little bit of wire, and you wire it through. You make it the size you need. Here, do another one. And then you could put this up against the wall. Yeah. Beautiful for eight dollars plus the cost of plants. Instant how, vertical. How I want to know support? why you haven't thought of this sooner. I don't know. What was the deal? What were, I was, you, what were the other thoughts that were going on in your head that prevented you from having this well, idea? Because this is genius. <laughs> Christina needs her uh, summer garden. Yeah, so that's I was thinking true. of that. We, that's we, true. We need to put in. By our the way, I keep seeing basically. her stealing stuff from your roses. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah. I've been using the roses for the inside of the house. But There's that's yeah. a good thing. Look, look okay. how beautiful. It's a functional yeah. garden. Yeah. But is this not cool? It's an instant vertical garden. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. You just push your plants this through. This is perfect, perfect for an episode for your show. Yeah. I love it. I think Are you, you going to do that? all the yeah. housewives together and do this. I'm going to hit you now with a glass. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to hit you. I want you to steal that idea. I'm going to hit idea. you with a hose. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> perfect.